Hey lovelies, join me as I transform my beautiful muse from that to this. Yes guys, it's been a very long time and I want us to recreate this beautiful look. So sit back and enjoy this particular tutorial. If you're a first timer, you are very much welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, you guys are the VMVP. So if you've been on our page for a very long time, obviously you know how to get to this stage. If you don't know how to get to this stage, please go down to our page as we have a lot of detailed tutorial on how to achieve a flawless skin finish for a dark skin person so we're just going to work fully on the eyeshadow um tutorial today and follow up with the finishing look and then we're done okay so for the eyeshadow we're going to just focus on getting the base so for our background we're going to work basically using a dark shade a dark brown shade and please take note that the bra bone will be spared okay that's the bra bone this part i really want it to be um light so i'm going to spare the bra bone okay now you are going to blend in properly work with a dark shade and then we're going to start over with the cut crease now because of the particular eyeshadow um, tutorial it's more like a full cut crease tutorial okay i know i've made a cut crease tutorial on our page before but i don't think it's like this kind of one okay so i'm just going to work on this particular tutorial because someone actually asked for it okay so if you're working on the um a cut full cut crease it's advisable you know the pattern which you follow okay and mind you as a makeup artist yeah i know for a fact that most times they look like um cousins and not brothers okay when you work on both sides most times one look a little bit bigger and the other look a bit smaller so you just take your time to try to make sure that both sides matches each other okay so we're going to create wings as you can see with the cut crease okay after cutting the crease you create wings so as you work you check to come to be sure that both side is perfect okay if they kind of look like brothers is fine they may not look like twins anyway but just try to make sure that both side um cutting looks similar now you are done with your cutting of the crease you're going to start filling i'm going i'm actually using a um a nude shade for the filling so you just carefully feel mind you when you feel you don't blend you just tap 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 to fill it i'm because of the edge of the line because you really don't want to have um your the edge tampered with okay so when you tap because of the edge of the line that you're working with so if you're okay with your tapping or your your shade that you're working with you can as well go ahead to um conceal the edge and then continue but then just take your time and show that both sides look equal and it's even so for the under of the eyes i'm just, i want to have that kind of a smoky um pronounced um eyeshadow for the damp part of my um, eyes so i'm just going to use i'm actually using um, a dark red and then i'm sure go ahead to, i'm adding black to it just to ensure that it gives me that you know that kind of serious kind of look and i'm still going to elongate the um the eyeshadow to ensure that it have a more like a wing kind of effect okay so just blend it out and look at the eyeshadow effect so it comes out more so i'm going to be doing some skipping so right now what we're doing is to work on our eyeliner personally i love to use um pencil liner i know you guys are aware of that already but then i'm just going to use my gel today just to ensure that the the hairline is actually very dark because obviously when you're working on your cut crease you obviously have to stain your natural eyelid so you're just going to use that to tint it a little bit up next is our lashes and i know you guys already know how to fix this because i've made several tutorial on how to get your lashes fixed if you don't know how to fix your lashes please go down to our page and you get to see tutorial on how to fix um lashes for beginners okay so i'm just going to use that this particular long lash because i want it to be more like a dramatic look not so um simple so that's the reason i'm using a very very kind of long and um curvy um lash okay now since i've done the major things for the eyeshadow let me just work on the skin work and after the skin work we'll come back to do the final definition or to define the eyeshadow of work and let's focus on the skin work and then let's come back to the eyeshadow 
so when working on a dark skinned person you actually want her to remain that dark you really don't want her to be looking a little bit or somehow lighter than she is right so that's actually the main aim of you being a makeup artist so please take note as you're working on a light on a dark skinned person sorry always ensure that um she doesn't look whiter than she ought to look okay so i'm actually trying to give her that calm look using um uh, a dark red um blush from my cpd blush palette i know i've been making so many videos using my um cheek glaze from i think tehila cosmetics but right now i actually made use of um cheek my blush from yeah cpd blush palette i actually love that palette a lot trust me guys so you can give it a try now for my lips as i said earlier i don't really want to it to be like a very very um calm look i want it to be like more like a very very um crazy or loud kind of uh, makeover so i'm going to be using a dark purple yeah dark purple shade for the lips definition so i'm going to define the lips using that dark purple shade and then more let's go in with a different you know a different vibe today okay so carefully as a makeup artist or as a beginner carefully define the edge of the lips i always tell my students that you don't have to watch or when you're trying to define the edge nobody's pushing you right so just take your time and you know get the edge puff properly well and ever that thing will follow suit so guys today i'm actually using yeah this is actually a concealer yeah this is adventure concealer yeah in shade three so i wanted i wanted to give it a try and see how the effect to come out and i trust me that i really love the effects it's it actually gave me what i wanted and you guys can give it a try too and see if it works for you too so this is actually shade 3 from Adventure Cosmetics. They are concealer, full mask concealer, yeah. So I used that as my lip um, stain today and it gave me what I wanted and I really love the effect. So guys, at the end of the day, I had to conceal to have a very lovely um, finish, yeah. Because I had a, I think, let's say smear, yeah, it actually smeared out, so... When I was blending it, so I had to correct that using a concealer and it came out well. So if by adventure you have the same mistake while working on your client, you can actually use a concealer to conceal to define the edge. It actually makes it look actually more sharper and finer though. But if you are not very good with concealing, ensure that you don't make such mistake and you're good. Okay. So let's go back to blend, 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 get the skin properly um fix take out excess powder ensure that there's no much demarcation and yeah so i'm going to use um my actually my tehila pal palette yeah so i'm using uh, a shade from it for my blush and i love that particular shade I, i'm sorry guys i didn't really have to i didn't post this shade and i don't know why i didn't post the shade i would have actually done that but i know that i made a video on a dark skin person and i actually posted it i actually use a particular shade for or dark skin person like when you're very very dark so you can go down the page on a dark skin tutorial and you get to see the shade i used so the major thing here is to continue the eyeshadow work and i really wanted you guys to see how i get to achieve that tiny um glitter liner i did okay so i didn't really use a glitter liner yeah i used um a normal loose um glitters so i'm going to show you guys how i get it done this is what i'm talking about here so how i got it done is you can just get your normal glitters and use a tiny line i think you have a tiny brush in your brush set or whatever brush you're okay with like this one i have here you need to create a very tiny and well detailed line over your crease line yeah so you go by your crease line using that your glitter um glue and then carefully place your glitter on the glue so if you have a glitter liner it's also very okay for you to work with that you can just use your glitter liner. it's actually very easy faster and more simple for you to work with using a glitter liner but for those of you that don't have glitter liner you can work with this i know i made a video using a glitter liner before but not this particular design though so you guys can actually give that a try okay so use your glitter liner Use your glitter glue, sorry, go over the crease line and then use your glitters and tap, 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 tap. Don't blend, guys. Don't blend. Just tap on it and you're good to go. 
So I actually went ahead to add, you know, some loose glitter over the cheek region just to give you that extra pop. So you can actually do that, uh, more or less spray the face with your fixed spray, then just tap, tap, tap over the um, cheek region just to give you that extra glow. And when you're done with your fixed spray, allow it to dry, sit for some time, and then go over to, you know, seal everything in. What is makeup without seal it, right? So I'm just going to seal, seal everything in, you know, ensure that the makeup is, you know, transfer proof, okay? Everything is well seated and this is actually a finished look. I hope you guys love this tutorial. Like, I hope you guys learned something actually. Well, see you guys in my next video. Bye.